people at church choose me to be PR from here, I would up to Mafike. That is where I discovered HIV. And then when a person is sick, they used to inform me. By that time, I was running a crash. I had a lot of children. At the beginning of the month, they were unable to pay the crash fees. Then I said, let me do the research. Only to find that the majority of them are orphans, others, the parents are terminally ill. Then I started. especially schools, they don't have parents, those kids, but they get the opportunity to go to school, to improve, and they get that love from us, you know. They feel like they still have parents, even if their parents passed away. The ones that we give them. So, for me, it's a very important thing to see a child smiling, getting education that she wanted to get, even if the parents are still, they're not around. It's amazing the way the kids grow, you see. They have clothes, they have food, but there's no parents around. The caregivers, they do the best that they can, they can do so that the kids can be able to, to, feel, to feel that warmth that we still have people that love us. We can say there are challenges, but now I, I'm used to and I love them. They're like my kids, but I've got only one child. And when you ask her, oh, how many children do you have? She says, my mother got 104 children, so I'm the, the eldest one, the other side. So they are like my children. I love them and they really love me. Yes. yes. No. This one. Yes. Thank you. 